if there are galaxies which recede away from each other faster than the speed of light, what will be the time dilation accordingly? A good question. So time dilation is something that that happens when you go at a relate when when something travels at a relativistic velocity, which is a significant percentage of the speed of light. So if you have two twins, one who remains on Earth and the other twin goes on a rocket rocket which travels let's say at a tenth of the speed of light and that that person who is in the rocket may experience let's say a, a journey of let's say one year and when this person comes back to earth after traveling at the speed of 0.1 the speed of light for one year he or she may find that their twin has aged much more than one year and how much this twin has aged can be calculated using the uh, principles of special relativity. So this is called time dilation, right? So when something travels at a significant uh, percentage of the speed of light, you experience time dilation. Now, we know that there are galaxies and, and portions of, of the observable, of, of the universe that are receding, for us, uh, receding away from us at the speed of light or faster than the, than the speed of light, which means we can never observe them again. Now, it's not happening because these galaxies are traveling within space-time faster than the speed of light. It's because the space-time itself is expanding faster than the speed of light. So there is this uh, speed limit in the universe, which is the speed of light, but it doesn't mean that the space-time itself cannot expand faster than that. Space-time itself can expand faster than the speed of light, in which case there is no time dilation what whatsoever. The time dilation only happens when you're traveling within space-time at a significant portion of the speed of light. But if you are embedded inside space-time and that space-time itself is expanding that fast, then there is no time dilation whatsoever. So it's something that's quite complicated and, and hard to wrap your mind around. But that is one of the strange uh, things about the universe. That's one of the mysteries of the universe. So superluminal expansion is indeed possible and it does not violate the speed limit as long as it is space-time itself that is expanding this fast and we know it is in certain portions of the universe. So the, so the observable universe is about uh, 93 billion light years in diameter and every minute as we speak there are stars and galaxies that are going that are basically going outside the observable universe because they start to recede away from us faster than the speed of light. So that's happening as we speak. The cosmic horizon is shrinking. Eventually, the only thing that we will be able to see in the universe will be just a local cluster of galaxies. And maybe eventually it will just be our own galaxy combined with Andromeda. So that's the thing. That's the future that awaits us, provided we stick around as a species for another 5 billion or so years in which case things will be very strange and very interesting.